So I ordered this guy on Amazon. It was about eight or ten bucks. And this little fella here allows me to have multiple batteries at once charging. And I'm going to modify the helicopter so that I can just swap out the batteries. And let's take a look. These guys are these are um, 150 milliamp hour 3.7 volt batteries. The same thing that uh, is inside the helicopter itself right now. But now we have these little connector wires here. And I have a handful of these things. How many did I get in this order? Look. Look at all this stuff. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six batteries. And they come with these connectors. Okay. And each one of these connectors can plug into the hub and then into a battery. So I can charge six batteries at a time, at the same time. And I have all these connectors. But what I'm going to do is modify our helicopter now. Because the way it works right now, I can fly it for about 10 minutes. Actually, I think it's like six to eight minute fly time. And then I have to turn the thing off and plug it in. And I charge it off of the um, controller here, it has a little wire. And I have to plug it in and, and charge the thing for about 30 minutes takes quite a while. I said, you know what? Wouldn't it be cool if I could just like unplug the battery and pop uh, a fresh battery off of the hub and just plug it on this thing. I'm going to mount it on here, underside somehow like this. Okay. So now all we have to do is just pop a fresh battery on there every time I want to continue flying. So I'm going to show you my plan on how to make that happen. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is get to the um, the existing battery inside the helicopter. And to do that, all you need is your little precision screwdriver, and there's two screws to remove the canopy. One here, and one here. So let's just take those screws out. canopy just slides off nice and easy. Now there's two wires, be careful, uh, that are connected to that little LED light on the front, so just be careful you don't pull on that too hard. Alright, but here is the existing battery inside your helicopter. Okay, and so we're going to be replacing it very carefully. I'm going to do some uh, wire disconnecting here in just a moment but just to show you this is the battery that's coming out I'll be disconnecting the leads from here uh, and I'll no longer be charging through this port over here anymore so that'll be really handy alright so let's let's get this process started Okay, so now we have the two leads from the battery right there. Okay, what we need to do is get this connector. Stripped. All right, now unfortunately, this is going to have to be a, for now, yes. kind of uh, connection here. I'm going to go buy some heat shrink couplings okay. to, uh, <laughs> going to buy some heat shrink couplings to uh, make this connection permanent. But for now, I'm just going to twist 
and twist. All right. So, connection made, pretty or not. Okay, and so at this point, I have just put the canopy back on. I haven't quite screwed it back on yet, but I've just tucked everything in there in such a way that these the connector is just poking out the side right here. Okay, looking pretty good here, I think. So not only can I just swap out a battery for a new one at a moment's notice, I can also charge five batteries at the same time on this little hub. <laughs> so at any given time I have um, five full charged batteries ready to go. And then all I have to do is come over here. I got Benjamin helping me out over here. And just pop a fresh battery onto the bottom of the helicopter and you're good to go. So there is not only no more waiting for the battery to charge, you've always got five ready to go. Uh, the position of the battery on the helicopter definitely affects how it flies just a little bit so um, you know put the weight of the battery towards the front to give your helicopter a little bit more of a aggressive uh, forward movement if you put the weight of the battery towards the back of course it's gonna kinda stall it and make it a little bit more sluggish and slow so there you have it virtually unlimited flight time on the S107 Always. Oh, sorry. Am I blowing your stuff off over there? Yeah. You just made a practice for blowing my cake. Oh, what? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 